In the world of public health, it takes skilled management to effectively deliver services to the public and elevate a health programme to its maximum potential. As comprehensive health management training is not always readily available, public health programmes can face a range of challenges due to lack of training. In national health programs, a very good doctor or a very brilliant scientist are elevated to positions of management. This happens um, you know, without them being, having a formal training in management or having any experience in managing uh, resources. A medical doctor is not a management person. A medical doctor is a medical person just like a management person is not a medical doctor. And a medical doctor can be excellent in the work that he does, but if he doesn't know how to manage people, he can't succeed in his program. In a country like Afghanistan, there is a very less opportunities for, for, uh, for uh, developing a public health experts uh, because uh, we don't have uh, such schools over there to train uh, pupils in the public health sector. The biggest challenge that we have is uh, probably in the human resource itself. We are a developing country and uh, there is a serious shortage of uh, the workforce in terms of health in my country. In China we face many challenges with the management, such as human resources and budgeting. For me it's more like how to manage smart people, because we, we do have, we hire a lot of doctors, so we have a lot of, a pool of doctors and a pool of, you know, very intelligent, smart people. Here at the health clinic in Tumburi prison in Bangkok, there is a limited number of staff to run the TB program and the nurses come and go frequently. Keeping TB treatment on track means making sure staff are adequately trained. The prison staff and prisoners need to have adequate TB knowledge, an awareness of TB to coordinate the TB activities in prison. The prison staff need to coordinate with health authorities. It is quite clear that if managers are not able to manage their staff well and are not equipped with the necessary skills to manage their resources, there can be very serious consequences. In response to these challenges, the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease has created the International Management Development Programme, designed specifically for people in public health. The courses focus on developing essential skills crucial for managing public health programs. These include project management, budget development and administration, developing successful leadership techniques and managing human resources. We have a core foundation course. Uh, that course is called the International Course on Management, Finance and Logistics. Uh, then we have the supporting pillars. The supporting pillars are specific uh, courses which looked after specific domain areas like uh, mass media and communications, human resources management and development, uh, budget planning and uh, project management. And the final course which is uh, for senior NTP managers is a course on uh, leading management teams which talks about strategic management and how to lead people. Well I'm from a developing country. For me it's extremely important to make to help create sustainable programs. Um, so I always think that when I, even when I do a course design, I do it in such a way that I must be able to see that people can do what I'm teaching them. Not that they just take down notes, you know, and the reason being that I want them to go back and I want them to do it there. And I want them to develop people there. And if they can do it themselves without us, in some way we have transferred the skill and if they can continue to propagate the work that they do and expand it and attract new talent, in some way they become self-sustainable. What we are doing is actually professionalizing systems. I think one of the objectives of the IMDP is to create a network uh, and create a network of professionals working in different areas and different organizations. Uh, whether it's uh, private organizations like non-profit uh, organizations or the public uh, organizations, whether it's institutions or whether it's Ministry of Health or government. Uh, the, the idea is to bring people together uh, and be in a neutral space where they can look at each other's issues and problems and see how they can address them. The multicultural setting brings to it the diverse things that are happening in various parts of the world. Sometimes you think you are the only one having challenges in one particular area in TB control. But then you meet people who have had similar challenges. They may have introduced different ways to 
manage their problems and you have the opportunity to learn so that you can also try out some of these tricks, if I should put it, new strategies in your country to see whether it works or not. I think the IMDP program was one of the first programs that provided opportunities like this, international opportunities. When I say international opportunities, I'm saying international forums and places where these people could come together and look at how the world is organizing public health, not just how their specific country was organizing. And you know, I think in some way the last five years, these programs, that is the IMDP programs, have lifted the whole standards of public health systems in many countries. In five years, the IMDB program has trained over 750. So you can imagine 750 people across, I don't know how many countries. How many, how many people's lives must have been touched by that? I think it's a huge, it's made a huge difference. Immediately in my office, I've seen the attitude of my subordinates improve in uh, regards to their ideas about TB control, their uh, ideas about support visits and uh, monitoring and evaluation skills and uh, outcomes have been much better. It actually helps me to come up with uh, new initiatives and innovations because right now like what we are doing in my country is that uh, because of what we are learning and the importance of the things that we are learning out of these courses, we've kind of strengthened our partnerships starting from the community up to the other well-established and formal partnerships at the national level. Everyone in the group, they was trying to uh, say or push their own option rather than listening to the positive points of the others. This was a very interesting course. It is and it was very essential for us and it will be very essential for, um, for, for our staff there and we may need more people to be trained in this course, I realize now. When I came here, I learned from the teacher and from my classmates how to communicate. The course itself has helped me to recognize the power of communication, effective communication.